Hey everybody, before we start this recipe, I wanted to kind of share with you um, one of the key things about doing recipes and feeding people is looking at how much we can save. And as you see by what I'm showing in the video, I got these items at 33% off. Um, we're gonna cook it up. Same day, cook up. You can even go an extra day after that time period, and you're going to be fine. Um, but again, it's all about saving money and how we can make things effective. All right, so at this point, you got you have your chicken ready. Um, you want to start tearing apart the skin um, and really going into what you have for the chicken to work with. Um, big thing you have to look at is, you know, the fat, the skin, all the items of the chicken, when you go to boil it up, how is it going to uh, suffice? And here we go. I'm going to show you really quick. I'm just like, Taking one piece right now, I'm pulling out a big chunk of fat. Um, yeah, look at that. It's that's huge. Um, then we're gonna trim a little bit off. I'm gonna take the the edge of the chef's knife and just kind of just edge it really easy. Nothing harsh, but you know, loosen it up and dislodge it from the chicken. And there you go. Next, we want to take a yellow onion. We want to cut the top off. And then we want to slice it in half. And your next step is to peel the skin off, which can be a little difficult. Sometimes you just can't get right into that skin like you want to, but little patience, little trial, and you'll get it. Um, and then you're going to want to make sure you start to chop the onion. Um, and this takes a little time, a little practice. Um, I'm definitely not a 100% expert, but and unfortunately, you can't see the cutting technique on this video, and I do apologize for that. But just let your knuckles do the work, and I will do a video on cutting to add to this. Um, so just bear with us. You basically want to end up with a small dice. Um, and again, like I said, I will have other videos that will show you how to do this, um, working on that problem. But even if you can't get this one right, it doesn't really matter because it's going to get strained out at the end. Uh, the onion is more for the taste and the flavor. Next, you want to take the chicken fat, the skins, everything that we've scrapped and put aside, put it in a saucepan on a medium high to high heat. And you wanna start letting it cook, sizzle, do its little thing. And you wanna add the onions uh, that we talked about earlier. Um, and then you wanna add enough water to cover everything. Um, and you want to, before you do the water, I suggest you, you know, just mix everything around. Stir it up. You're going to see it start cooking. And then add the water. You know, don't let it stick. Uh, it's going to take a little while, but just, you know, get it to a boil and then let it simmer. As you can see, everything is simmering well. Um, this is what we're trying to do is reduce everything down and eh, reduce the water, get it off. 
Um, you can increase the heat, but unfortunately you're going to burn it. And you don't want a burned grease or oil. So it just takes time. It's in about a half an hour, give or take, depending upon how much you have. This is actually a great way to use up the scraps and the waste. Um, the oil is a wonderful thing to cook in. Can be done with a lot of other recipes and we'll include those. So in this image, you can see it's actually started to reduce. Um, it looks like there's not enough liquid, but there really is. And you can also notice that the color has changed. It's no longer clear. It's starting to turn yellow, uh, which means the water is evaporating and you're getting the fat now. Very important. If you look at this example, you can see we've got the heat turned up a little bit. There's some browning going on. Um, the skins have let go of the fat juices now. And here's where you have to keep stirring and stirring and make sure you do stir. Um, but it's turning a golden brown and we are ready to strain this. Okay, so I've got a cheesecloth set up on the strainer. Uh, we're going to pour everything into the strainer with the cheesecloth laid in there. Uh, there is a bowl underneath to catch all of the juices. And we're going to scrape the pan, make sure we get everything out. Yes, there is some burning in the pan. Really not as bad as you think. Um, does look like it, but it's really not. Um, next thing we want to do is we want to take the cheesecloth, we want to tie it all together and pull it together. We want to squeeze as much as we can out. Um, little trick that I did is I actually took a container and I pushed to really squeeze every ounce we can. I mean, it's not easy to get all the fat out of this. But remember, we've already boiled off the water. It's no longer there. So this is a good thing. Um, and then we have a container of chicken fat underneath. So I wanted you to see the final result. A lot of work, but definitely worth it.